So welcome back to another video here in Pennsylvania. It's time to hike another section of the Horseshoe Trail on this uh, kind of chilly, windy day. Today is March, Saturday morning, March 4th. Maybe about 45-ish degrees today, but there's supposed to be like 20 to 30 mile an hour winds, but we're gonna, we're gonna get a hike in regardless. But let me show you what the general plan is for today. Here is our map, and I'm parked here at uh, Geiger Town Road right here. The last hike we did, we went from Scott's Run Lake, let me get my other finger, up to Geiger Town Road. This is where we found, we were looking for remnants of that village, the Six Penny Village, part of the Underground Railroad. But today we're gonna go up on this way into Birdsboro Waters area. And I'm not sure how far I'm gonna go, if I'm just gonna go to Hollow Road or if I make all the way over to uh, Route 482 here. We'll see. I got all day, so maybe we'll go all the way. But anyway, I'm not sure yet. We'll see. We'll see how I feel when we get to this spot. Well, let's get packed up and get going. The trail is actually just a little ways up the road from this parking area. This right here is French Creek State Park, one of the parking lots for here. I did mention this is Geiger Town Road. Might hear a little bit of shooting today. There is a gun range right over there. I only think there's one fella over there, out there. So I heard a little bit when I first got here. So, but anyway, let's uh. Let's get going, let's get warmed up a little bit and get going. All right, so I believe right up here is the Horseshoe Trail. See the wooden post for it? It's one of the yellow blaze marks. Yeah, the parking area is just uh, down around the bend there, down there. And that's the area we were exploring last time we were here. We are wandering around there and there a little bit looking for that village, but here we go. The Horseshoe Trail. All right, so this section is uh, all new to me. I've not been on any part of this section. As far as I know, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure I have All right, away we go. And we're just zigzagging up this hill, getting warmed up. May have overdressed a little bit, but I'd rather overdress than underdress on a windy day like this. Actually, it's not terribly windy at the moment. I think as the day progresses, it's gonna get much windier. Maybe, maybe even some gusts up to like 40 miles per hour or so. So it's about being, you know, safer than sorry. And on a much more sadder note, I am gonna talk about someone a little bit later in this video. I got kind of, kind of, I guess you could say, dedicate this video to someone that I knew, a young fellow that passed away yesterday. So I think I'll talk about that a little bit later in this video. It's kind of sudden, but just kind of think of it now as I'm walking along a little bit. You know, life. <laughs> You never know when your time's gonna come, that's the thing. But days like this are a reminder too that it still is winter. We've had a abnormally warm February, which is kinda nice, but March it looks like. I was looking at the weather channel yesterday and our outlook for March for this area is for temperatures to be a bit below normal. So we're kinda snapping back into reality here. I mean, spring is on the way, but, you know, not just yet. We kind of have an early taste of it. But just getting a reminder that it's not quite here yet. But that's okay, it'll be here soon enough. Soon we'll see uh, green things poking up everywhere, the buds swelling on the trees, flowers blooming, the birds singing. But today it's the wind howling through the trees. So we'll hear. And it looks like Bigfoot has been out here. Got one of his houses that he builds. Got another trail coming. It looks like a well-used trail. I kind of wonder where that goes to, but yeah, maybe that's uh, Bigfoot's trail. But yeah, yeah, someone is building a little fort here, it looks like. Not sure what the status of this land is. Obviously, we're allowed to be on it here because it's a horseshoe trail. Yeah, you can hear there, there's someone down that gun range down there. Just one person, it sounds like. 
Yeah, here's another little mini fort. Someone's stacking some sticks up and stuff. All right. Yeah, like I said, eventually we're gonna get to that, what's called Birdsboro Waters. Years ago, I explored that area a little bit. Yeah, so as I mentioned earlier, uh, someone that I knew uh, passed away yesterday. Of course, on, these days I generally find out about this stuff on Facebook, you know. I mean, Facebook has its pros and cons, but it is a good news source. It is a good way to get out information quickly to people you know. And a lot of times in the past years, it's how I've found out, you know, about, you know, various people passing away or other tragedies that have happened to people that I know. Like, so it's a good way to get information out because then if people need help, um, it's a good way to get those people help right away. But yeah, um, years ago, um, at the old church I used to go to, his family went there too. And I helped out with uh, something that's called Awana. It's a program that they have for the elementary age kids. You know, most churches have like a youth group for the teenagers. But they also have like a children's program going on at the same time during the school year. Usually it's off during the summers. I forget what, Awana is it's an acronym for something. I forget what it is. I helped out for years, but I forget what that stood for all of a sudden. But yeah, first in fourth grade is the first time I think I like officially met him and worked with him. But I know I helped with like fifth and sixth graders too. So as he moved up grades, I think I kind of moved up too, helping on the higher grades. So I knew him for quite a few years, even into when he started going to youth group there. But at some point, him and his family started going to another church. And I'm going to interrupt my story here because I hear hear that sound over there. Those are the wood frogs. They will sound like birds or something maybe, but... There must be like a little body of water just over that hill. Cool. I've heard them in other people's videos, but... It's one of the signs of spring out here. Sign of life, even though I'm telling you a story about death, though. That's the way it is, you know. Wherever there's life, there's also going to be death. That's the cycle of life. So yeah, I do have quite a few memories of him. I worked with him for quite a few years. And I remember in the spring, we always had like a, a couple days at camp. They call it camp at the old mill. They would camp over the weekend. Not like camping in tents, but kind of like a, a weekend retreat with the kids. You know, he was, <laughs> he was a bit mischievous at times. He definitely tested my patience at times, as a lot of young guys will. But he was a good kid, you know. He was not, uh, even when he was being, uh, you know, bad, he was not a bad kid, if you know what I'm saying. So, but yeah, I don't go to that church anymore either, so I kind of lost touch with them, if you know what I'm saying. But yeah, just yesterday then, around noon, you know, found out that he had passed away suddenly. He's probably, Maybe in his early 20s, I think, which is which is kind of odd. I think he has he complained of heart pain, trouble breathing, and just like that, it was over. I think they tried CPR, but it didn't work, and yeah, just like that, you know, someone's gone. And I do feel especially bad for the parents. I mean, the mom I knew back in high school; she was a couple grades above me. But they they have four children, but they lost their oldest daughter too a number of years ago. She died of cancer. So within, I don't know, like five years, they've lost two of their four children. So definitely a difficult situation for them. Like I said, I'm just sharing the story with you. It's on my mind because it just happened yesterday. Like I said, kind of dedicating this hike to him in a way. His name was Josh, if I f forgot to say that, but it just reminds you, like, I almost considered not coming out hiking today, because it's not... I mean, actually, now that I'm out, that's the way it always sometimes it is, you know, on these days where it's a little bit colder and windy, I think, meh. Nah. Then once you're out here, it's nice, but it does remind you, too, that, you know, get out there and enjoy what's out here, because you just don't... I don't know, you don't know how much time you have left with things like this, or in life, so... I don't know, it's just sitting at home and watching other people other people's YouTube videos of going on adventures and stuff, you know, get out there and get out there and do it yourself. 
because you never know tomorrow you may not be able to. And it may not just be because uh, you die, but it may be because of an illness. And I was talking with someone else about something like this, a friend of mine. Someone in their family used to hike all the time, but then they got the, what do you call it, that sciatica in the leg. They could hardly walk anymore, and just like that, their hiking days were over. So like I said, you never know. So just a reminder to use your time wisely. I know I struggle with that. I sit at home too. I mean, I'm out here hiking a lot, but sometimes I'm at home sitting in front of the computer too long as well. But enough of that talk for now. Let's uh, just enjoy this hike. You know, because we can. We can be out here and enjoy it, so let's do it. So there is a bird singing up there. It's good to hear that. I believe that's a... Uh, I want to say it's a cardinal, but I could be wrong. It's nice to hear that on a wintry day. Like I said, more of that will be coming as the days warm up. So we are most definitely in the Birdsboro Waters Preserve area. Our trail goes off straight that way. You see the yellow blazes, but there are a number of other trails out here. I'm starting to see these trail signs too. There's a, was that like a white blaze trail that goes up that way. A white blaze and a red blaze trail that goes down this way. And a red blaze trail going down that way. So there's a weird conjunction of quite a few trails. So I think we're in that area. Because you don't see these kind of markers on, you know, private property. So we're in that Birdsboro Waters Preserve. Not sure at what point we entered it. I didn't see any like boundary signs or anything. So in the future, I probably should hike this preserve a little bit more. I, know, I did in the past, went to an area where they do some, there's like an old quarry, they do rock climbing. It was a cool area. But I know there's several like lakes out here you know there he is to hike and explore so there's it's quite a large area and if you had any doubt as to whether or not this was the horseshoe trail <laughs> there you go that came from a horse <laughs> all right this is indeed the horseshoe trail so there are a lot of crisscrossing trails through here but just you know, keep following the yellow blazes if you know, if you're doing a horseshoe trail. Just keep looking for the yellow. And you'll be okay. Actually, it hasn't been uh, terribly windy yet either. Even right now, it's fairly calm. So we'll see. Let me check the time though. Uh, so it's only 11:30 though. So I said as the day goes longer, it'll get it'll get windier. Break time. Dark chocolate almond mint. That looks good. And onwards we go. We're now on a private property, I believe. But the horseshoe trail, they, you know, they got permission to put the horseshoe trail through this property. But we're not too far from uh, what's called Hollow Road, which was the first place I was considering stopping, but we'll probably go on beyond that to the, whatever highway that, whatever highway that was for something or other, I forget. And I may not, on the return trip, I probably won't come back the same way. Yeah, there's a section of pine forest coming up. You can definitely hear the wind. Well, maybe not as much at the moment, but the wind in the pines. 
I thought the trail was going to go right through, but I guess we're going to go around that area. But yeah, I'd love to walk through those. We'll see. Maybe the trail will skirt back around and go through there. Doesn't look like it though. I think we're going down, down this way instead of over to the pine forest. I'll oh, check this out. I just saw this over here. It's like a hole in the ground here. There's a tire down in there. Seen some other metal work up there. Interesting. So I'm not sure. Not sure what's going on here. Let me step back. Kind of looks almost like a crater right here. Yeah, there's our crater. I'm definitely seeing some stuff up in the woods there just scrap metal and stuff but we're not on public land so i'm just gonna have to let that go i mean there's no signs explicitly saying that i couldn't but anyway we are a private property so i'm just gonna respect that we'll just stay on trail <laughs> all right yeah we are going around the pine forest And now it feels like we're in someone's backyard again. There's our little pine forest. This reminds me of other places on the Horseshoe Trail back when we started out earlier where, you know, we were kind of in people's backyards and along the edges of their horse pasture and stuff like that. I'm not sure what this is. All right, but we'll let it go. Does it open up? Take a peek. Oh, just empty. All right. Let's keep going. All right. I'll take a turn here. But we have been a bit spoiled lately as far as not hiking not doing any road walks or hiking in residential areas in people's backyards but that'll change again in fact i think coming up not the next hike i think we're, maybe the third hike from this one we have a longer road walk to do so those will come back and then they'll go away again and come back like that's one thing nice things about the horseshoe trail ways it's constantly changing constantly getting a different variety of things yeah, this section through here, they definitely know, let you know it's posted on either side of the trail. They also have it sprayed with the purple paint thing. But you're allowed to hike the horseshoe trail through here. So we're not doing anything uh, illegal. They just have it posted quite heavily. Meaning, stay on the trail. All right, I believe this down here is Hollow Road. Well, I could be wrong, I guess. So, double blaze, stagger to the left, so we gotta go up this way a little bit. Looks like. Yeah, so another double blaze, but staggered. I see you set up there, so that's probably where a trail crosses up there. I'll double check my map quick to make sure that this is Hollow Road. I think I'm gonna keep going yet to the to the highway. Just a little bit further that way. We'll get across here. So the trail continues on. The wind is picking up. So that was Hollow Road, and we're gonna keep going. I was thinking about stopping there, but I think I'm gonna go on to, it's Highway 482 is what it's called. I do wanna check if there's, my one map says there's parking at that location too, so I kinda wanna see, cause if there is, that's where we'll park the next, for the next section. So, it's only about 12.15 too, so I have plenty of time yet for the return trip. So might as well keep going. I think it's, it's less than a mile to the highway up here, so might as well keep going. 
once again, we're kind of in people's backyard. There's a nice farm down there. Yeah. All right, this is interesting. Looks like we have a bridge up here. Private property sign, but this is the horseshoe trail. This is interesting. What is, oh, this must be an old uh, railroad. That's what this is. This is the old bridge that goes over. That's cool. Sounds a bit rickety. So this is an old railroad bed. Not sure which one it is, but yeah. Bridge has seen better days, but it's cool. All right. Coming down to someone's farm here. It always feels like you're violating people's privacy, but let's see what the sign up here says. To something capacity. <laughs> Alright. Sheep and everything down here. Yeah, it just takes us right down to someone's house down here. Okay. I think here's some spring peepers off in the distance too. Right, I'm going to turn the camera off. So I'm not really filming people's place here. Well, that felt a bit awkward, I guess. I was walking right through a, like an active farm there. You just feel like you're, uh, I don't know, invading people's privacy, but that's where the trail goes. All right. This is like their lane, their farm lane. So this probably takes us right out to the highway then. All right, so here is the highway. This is Route 482. Um, this is the end of the section. But I'm gonna just want a quick hit up here. See if there is some parking up here. One, one map said there was, but not looking like it too much right now. Okay, so there is parking here. Parking for the Horseshoe Trail. So right by this uh, pipeline outpost. So I could probably park just right in there somewhere. See the yellow blaze for the horseshoe trail right up there? So, so I can consider this section done too. All I've been following is like blue blaze trail with the yellow dot. I'm not sure what's up with that. Does the horseshoe trail actually come this way? We might go back. I think this is actually the horseshoe trail. I'm not sure what the blue blaze one is, but anyway. But I think that'll be it for me then, folks. Just make my way back down to the highway here. Gonna head back a different day, different way than what I came. So I think I'll just go ahead and end here. All right, wind is picking up though. So as always, folks, thanks for coming along on this hike. And hopefully we'll see you on the next one, wherever that may be.